Now for this lesson, I'm going to talk to you guys about rainy days. Now I don't know about you, but when I was in school, I didn't like rainy days too much. Why? I always had to stay indoors. I always had to walk under the roof to stay dry, and whenever I looked outside the classroom window, it was never sunny outside, which gave me a very gloomy feeling on the inside as well. So whenever I saw something like this in class, I always felt like it was a rainy day. It gave me that gloomy feeling because there was a coefficient in front of the variable squared and they were asking me to factor. The other thing I noticed, I couldn't take a greatest common factor out of any of the terms, so that coefficient couldn't just be factored out. But then I realized, on rainy days I use an umbrella, so for this factoring method, I'm going to go ahead and use an umbrella as well. I'm going to teach you guys how to factor using the umbrella method. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I see something like this and it gives me that gloomy feeling, so I just go ahead and I multiply this 2 times 9 and I draw that arrow and I drop down this positive 9. So I'll put that here and I go ahead and make my x, we cannot forget about the x, and then I just go ahead and put 2 times 9 is positive 18. So whatever these two numbers multiply to, I put right here. So now I just ask myself, what multiplies to a positive 18 and adds to a positive 9? That would be a positive 3 times a positive 6. Great. Now normally, when factoring using the x method, we're done. But whenever there's a coefficient and we use the umbrella method, we go ahead and do one more step, and that's taking it to the box method. So let me go ahead and take this to the box. So I draw a box here, and I put the far left coefficient into the top left box. I'm going to put a positive 2 there. And then I take the far right number and I put it in the bottom right corner of the box. And then these two numbers can go any which way. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 3 here and the positive 6 here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this first row. I'm going to look at 2 and 3. And I'm going to take the greatest common factor out. So if I do that, I would know the greatest common factor is just a 1. And it's a positive 1. Once I do that, everything else is easy. All I do is divide 1 into 2, and that gives me 2, so I'll put that answer there. I'll divide 1 into 3, and that gives me 3. And then I just take this number and I divide 2 into 6 to get 3. Now, these two numbers right here, 1 and 2, the ones that are part of this top left corner, they're going to contain my variable. Since we only have x squared, we're going to put an x here and an x there. And since there's no sign here, that's going to represent it as a positive, right? So let's go ahead and put that positive sign. And this would be a positive 3, right? So now we can see we have our binomials. And this will be the same every time, which is why the umbrella method is really cool. So now we just say that 2x plus 3 times, and then that's 1x, so we could just write x plus, and that's a positive 3, so it's plus 3 is our factored answer. We went ahead and factored this. Now I know it might seem like it takes long, but it sure beats guess and check because now we know we got the answer right. And if you want to check it, go ahead and foil it out. You'll get that as your answer. Looks like a rainy day, huh? Well, it's a good thing I brought my umbrella because whenever we see something like this, we want to go ahead and use the umbrella method. So let's go ahead and do that. Why are we using the umbrella? Well, because we can't take a greatest common factor out from each term, so we go ahead and just use the umbrella. So we'll go ahead and multiply 6 times 35, and they're both positive, so that would be a positive 210, and we bring down this negative 31. So there's a negative 31, and we use our x, and then we, have, we put whatever multiplies to 6 times 35 right here, which is a positive 210. Now, if this is a positive and it adds to a negative, then we know that both signs are negative. And now we just have to find out what multiplies to 210 and adds to 31. Well, that's 21 times 10. And we know that a negative times a negative is a positive, and two negatives add together are negative. So we can see that that works out. Let's go ahead and go to the box now. I know it may seem like it's a lot of steps, but I guarantee you that this saves time from guess and check because when you do this right, you get the answer right. So make sure you do your steps properly. Far left number goes into the top left box, so that's a 6. Far right number goes to the bottom right box, that's a positive 35. And now we just go ahead and we put our negatives here. 
So that would be a negative 21. And we could put a negative 10 there if we wanted to. That's fine. And this would be a negative 10. Okay, good. Now let me show you one little tip that I do as well. I take the greatest common factor out of the first row. Here it would be a 2. Why do I do that? Well, because, especially when I'm dealing with these negatives, sometimes you might actually have to take out a negative number. Well, what I do is I just take out a greatest common factor and I divide that into the remaining numbers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into negative 10, negative 5 times. So now I have my negative number out. 3 goes into 2, or 3 goes into 6 2 times, and 3 goes into negative 21, negative 7 times. So that's the way I find that it's a little easier to work with, especially when these two numbers are negatives. So if you want to do that for every one, just take the greatest common factor out of the first row and then divide, it works. 3 divided by 6 gives me 2, and 3 divided by negative 21 gives me a negative 7. And if you want to check it, negative 5 divided by negative 10 is a positive 2, and negative 5 divided by 35, or negative 5 goes into 35, negative 7 times. So now we just go ahead and put a variable here, x and x, and that's 2x minus 7 times 3x minus 5. And we found our answer.